Alrighty, so you're ready to build your personal brand on LinkedIn. You are definitely at the right place. In this video, I'm teaching you how I went from 400 followers to over 35,000 in 18 months. I'm going to be sharing with you the strategies that I use to land several speaking engagements, to be able to be featured in LinkedIn news over eight times, and also the strategies that my clients use to build their brands on the platform to be able to land several career opportunities. My name is Lisa Appiah. I'm the founder of We Apply, and I'm a certified career and resume strategist. I help emerging leaders to boost their confidence and visibility so that they attract opportunities that put them on the executive track. So I am ready to go. Let's get started. Firstly, you need to create a plan. Before you even get into updating your LinkedIn profile, you need to understand why you're there. LinkedIn is social media and so it's easy to get distracted by the many things that are going on there. So knowing your purpose will help you stay focused and will help you achieve what you are looking to achieve on the platform. So it's important to define your purpose. Why are you on LinkedIn? What are you looking to achieve on the platform? Maybe your goal is to make a career change. Maybe it's to land a role. Maybe you're just looking to network with other people in your industry. It's important to know what your purpose is. From there, define what your goal is. What would you like to achieve on the platform? If you're looking to make a career change, be specific. I'd like to make a career change from this industry to that industry. The more specific you are, the easier it's going to be for you in identifying what needs to be done to achieve that goal. Thirdly, you want to define a timeline. How long is it going to take for you to achieve that goal? Perhaps you're building your personal brand on the platform and you're in it for the long run, which is what would be ideal. But maybe you have specific goals that you want to achieve every quarter or every year. Define that and set a specific timeline for those specific goals. And lastly, define your audience. Who exactly are you speaking to? Who are you targeting? LinkedIn has so many professionals from so many industries. It's good for you to know who specifically you're talking to and who you're addressing your messaging to. The next thing that you want to do is to complete your LinkedIn profile. You want to make sure that your LinkedIn profile is optimized based on this target and this goal and this uh, plan that you've established in step number one. So make sure that all the sections in your LinkedIn profile are complete from your headline to your about section, the skill section, experience and education, as your endorsements and recommendations, have a picture and also make sure that you have a personalized banner on your profile. In my previous video, the six elements of a successful LinkedIn profile, I go through all of these sections step by step and I give you more details as to how to create an optimized LinkedIn profile. The third thing you want to do is engaging on the platform. So there are different ways that you can engage on LinkedIn, whether it is by commenting on other people's posts, creating your own posts, sending direct messages. There are different ways that you can show up depending on what you're looking to achieve. For myself, when I started off on LinkedIn, honestly, I was extremely intimidated by the platform. I didn't really understand how it worked and I felt like it was just big people who were doing extraordinary things and I felt like I was kind of out of place. The time engaging on the platform, I realized that there is room for me and that my voice is needed on the platform. So this is the strategy that I did initially when I wasn't too comfortable creating my own content. So I created a list of 10 people who are in my industry I can consider them to be influencers who are in my industry doing similar work as I did. And on a daily basis for about a month, I would take those 10 people and comment on their post. 
I would make sure that the comments that I was writing were engaging and valuable, that they would add more to what they've already said. And and what that did is that it created more conversation and people would engage with my comments. And so people started knowing my name and knowing what I had to share. And I started from there to build my following, not even by creating my own content, but just by commenting on the post of other thought leaders on the platform. From there, after about two weeks of doing that, one of the comments that I made was featured in LinkedIn News. and. I gained almost a thousand followers within a few days because of that comment. And obviously from there, my confidence also increased. And so I decided I was going to also create my own post. And so I started posting on LinkedIn regularly. As of January 2021, I was posting at least five to six times a week on the platform. And I would post different types of posts. So Thought leadership posts are basically posts where I'm teaching people on things that are related to my industry. I would share stories. Stories do very good on LinkedIn, especially stories that go through like the hero journey of basically I started here and then I faced this challenge, but it, and then over time I was able to meet a mentor or a guide who provided me with insight. And as a result of that, I achieved this goal. So those kind of hero journey stories do really well on LinkedIn. I, I call them started from the bottom. Now we're here. Those types of stories will always do very well on LinkedIn. I also share inspiration posts. So sometimes just uh, encouraging people. I do do video content. So at least once a week, I do share a video and they're often taught leadership posts as well, but I share them in video format. There's a lot of opportunity for you to express your uniqueness, to express what you want to share in terms of being a leader in your industry on the platform. And the last thing is to be consistent. When you are building your personal brand on LinkedIn, you want to make sure that you are doing so consistently. So whether you decide you're going to be posting two times or four times or eight times a week, whatever you decide based on your schedule and what you can do, stick to it. I've seen people who get so excited and they're like, yeah, I'm building my personal brand on LinkedIn. I'm going to get all this visibility. And then they post like three times a day for a week and then they get super Super exhausted and they're not able to keep it up and then they stop so that's not gonna help you in getting the traction that you're looking to get and getting those long-term results where you're actually now starting to attract career opportunities or starting to attract business opportunities so you want to make sure that you're pacing yourself and you're doing something that you can maintain over time you'll see that as you start doing it you'll get used to it and with time you can start increasing but when you're starting off start with something that is reasonable based on your schedule and where you are at in your life so I post now four to five times a week. I post in the morning. It tends to be at 8.50 a.m. There's no science behind that. It's um, basically what works for my schedule. By the way, if we are not connected on LinkedIn, you can connect with me here. Here is my QR code and you'll be able to connect with me on the platform. I will say that something that did help me with my growth is that some of my posts did go viral on LinkedIn, which brought in a lot of followers. One post in particular achieved over 800K views, if I remember correctly. And uh, from that, I was able to get over 4,000 followers. So stuff like that does happen on the platform. I remember someone telling me, I didn't know you can go viral on LinkedIn. So yes, you can go viral on LinkedIn. But what I would say is that it shouldn't be your expectation. Your expectation should be to share information, share knowledge, and it's a give and take. As much as you're giving, people will also give to you. So that should be your expectation that it's a two way street. And as much as you're providing value, things will also start coming your way. Opportunities will start coming your way. You'll get, uh, you know, people contacting you regarding your expertise. So as much as you give, that's how much you're also going to receive. So always keep that in mind when you're engaging on LinkedIn. 
Hopefully you found this helpful. I post a new video every Thursday. I talk about career, LinkedIn, and leadership. And if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, I encourage you to do so now. And let me know in the comments, are you on LinkedIn? Are you looking to build your personal brand on LinkedIn? At what stage in the process are you? And let me know if you have any specific comments about LinkedIn that I can support you with. All right, take care.